welcome to Farming Simulator 22. We are back with the logging. We cut a bunch of trees, and now we're in the midst of trying to figure out how to work this so that it's not a big hot mess every time I, I got to get used to the controls. So let's uh, let's get it. Let's get right into it here. So 
I gotta go backwards to go forwards, push backwards to go forwards, and so on. Okay. Are we gonna get a couple? Looks like we might. Two of them. Oh, see that? I think that. See how the device kind of. the claws. They get all jinky. Yeah, they're kind of. That that's one of the problems with this. I really find is they they do that. See how it's, the log is actually through the claw. Got a sawmill now close to the water there, just down this road in front of me. Let's see what we got. That's where I've been taking the logs. sideways here. We can get him angled just right. Oh, wrong way. Uh, don't want to throw him around too much like that. See if we can't strap this stuff down, even though they're kind of all over the place. Might strap, unfortunately, might strap some of these sideways ones on there. Which might make it difficult to drive down the road. run around the other side and see if we can't oh wow yeah they're sticking out here too aren't they should be a strap right here okay yeah this will be an interesting drive 
Especially seeing we're not angled quite right. But. Okay, here we go. Pretty sure this is the road, hopefully. Oh, it's not too bad, I guess. See how this location... Tree, 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 tree. It, it's not gonna warp. Not gonna go through it, is it? Okay, let's made it. It's not gonna make it through the gate, though. Unless it doesn't have any collision on it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I might need to undo that strap and let it kind of get knocked off. Oh, wait a minute. Come on, truck. Oh, we gotta get some more speed up. Might be able to get, if I can get a run to go, go at it like this. Might be able to make it. There we go. We did it. Nice. Now this location, I'm not sure. If, oh, it is. Nice. It's making, it's making planks. So what do I have to do? shut the engine off we don't need it running okay as, as you can see I've got I, I did realize that you just have to park over the cell point so I've got logs laying all over the place we've got 25,000 and now we've got 1.5 and we've got sawdust also now these planks I'm pretty sure we could sell those to like a carpenter so let's see well, let's look at a map and where's our carpentry buildings at uh, this is what's this one chip sell point okay so I can sell the chips there What's, uh, no, those are just off map. How about this? Okay, this one, I think what that is, is it, uh, maybe not, I thought maybe it connected to here and it could go there. Wood cell points, wood cell point, okay, yeah. Those would be ferried down the, the river to get to different places. Carpentry building. Now, that's going to be interesting to get to. I think... I'm hoping there's a river crossing right here. It kind of looks like there's a road that goes that way and that way. But we got to go all the way down and around. And I'm going to need a smaller truck with a trailer to get that wood. Let's see what we get. There's, see, that's the sawmill that was... We were... This vehicle workshop allows you. Okay. Oh, there's two different. What's this? What's this here? Oh, that's a wood cell point also. Okay. Wood chip cell point. Now, could I? I wonder how much it is for a carpentry building, where I can just place it. Because I own all the, this area, all these cell point areas. I own all those. Maybe if I set it up over here, because I don't want it right next to it, it's kind of boring just being right there, but if I could set up a carpentry building in this area, that might, it'll make so I can, I still have to travel, but I don't have to go all the way to the other side of the map. Oh, we got rain. 
Okay, let's take a look at our uh, vehicles that we can get. I'm going to need a forklift, which I think I've got. Oh, wait a minute. I thought I had a bobcat. I wonder. Skidster. Oh, here we go. Bobcat. Oh, the New Holland's kind of nice, too. Uh, I like the New Holland more from the fact of the price, too. How about what is like the forklift? What's the cost? Oh, well, it's. I'd rather have the Bobcat then. Because we're going to need. Let's see, the New Holland. It doesn't have to be real big right now. Wheel set. Standards all. Different kinds of wheels. So we'll just go with that. Okay, so now we're going to need this. Let's buy that, and then we need, what's the, the forks for that? Skidster loader, so we need forks for a skidster, skidster loader, and let's see, pallet forks, yeah, okay, we'll buy the pallet forks for it. And now, we don't need to be using our semi-truck for everything, so let's grab a trailer that we can, I don't know if I've got any, like, no, no trailers in there for, well, for like a car, or a truck, I mean. Um, let's see, it's got to be some kind of flatbed that can be hooked up to a, a regular truck. So to haul both the dollies, oh that, let's see, miscellaneous, is there a trailer? Okay, that trailer, I don't know if that's going to be big enough though. I want something that's going to be able to haul the a lot of pallets, plus it's got to be able to haul the bobcat too, or the skidster I mean. Uh, let's see what other f trailers are there. I'm gonna have to look into it, finding a trailer in a mod form. Cause these low boys doesn't really work for me. Cause I don't know if this is gonna be like if I go with this one, that'll work with a truck. But is that too narrow or too wide for a? Oh here. Safeguard wide. I guess we could use that. We'll buy it. And then we got to get a truck too. We're going to be pushing our money pretty tight. Need to get a truck. Just a regular nice Chevy. Yep, here we go. Nice old Chevy truck, like we've got in the farming. Let's go to regular bed. Just want clear windows. No two box. What is that? Can't even really see what happens. Oh, here, let's go. Oh, not two box. Oh, okay. Whatever that's for. Spare tire accessories. And we get, oh, that's this extra money that we don't need to spend. How do you get it to go off? There we go, zero. Stickers, no. I want it to where I can put a plow on it because that's going to be potentially something that's important. We'll stick with the red. Okay, can we buy it even? Do we have enough? Oh, just just enough money okay let's... okay let's get over to the truck at the garage here we go okay we got hopefully let's jump in our truck hopefully this thing will pull that is 
that's a big trailer. how the windshield wipers automatically go on too when it when it's raining. days have I got this set up as calendar well, I've got a three day I must have started late in the season because I haven't been going very many days yet and it's already into September hmm what's the advanced October and it's in the 80s. November, it's in the 80s. Okay, there's something wrong with that. Let's see. Settings. Dollars, miles, Fahrenheit, yep. Acres, yes. Sounds. Radio off. This okay, let's see. Time scale five times. Kind of a yes. Traffic on Grove, yes. Three days of the month fixed. Snow is on. Crop doesn't really matter because we don't do crops in this one. Dirt normal. Auto starts off. Okay, well that looks but I must I thought we were in an actual like more of a winter scene. If it's going to be 80 degrees in November, that's going to suck. You got to be careful, these are narrow roads. This truck gets up pretty quick. Eventually, um, I think I own these roads now too. I don't know what the expanse between the road and the trees, how far in I can cut, cut all these trees along the road to make so I don't have these overhanging branches everywhere. Yeah. 
I think. Oh, we gotta get the gate down first. Sound effects of the sawmill. Whoa. <laughs> I always push the E button on accident and then it jumps me into the skinster instead of undoing the strap like I wanted to. Okay, let's go grab us lumber. We gotta get some money back. Down to three thousand. Seven hundred dollars. So Let's see if we can do this first person mode.
Okay, there we go. That kind of worked better. Oh, shoot. I was hoping that I was going to have like a bunch of pallets ready to be completed. Let's do that again. See, I don't get any traction to the back because it's so heavy. If you just get it on there just enough, what I'll do is it doesn't really matter how far it's on because I'll be able to push it on more with the skidster. We got another pallet yet? No, shoot. Okay, now get this on the trailer with them. Let's see if we can't push them on a little farther. Yeah, I think they, it's actually slippery. Kind of sliding around on there. Let's just pull it in straight. Next investment is going to be a better one of these. It might not be a skits or maybe a This is the way we're supposed to go, so once we hit the Y, we want to go north. This is quite a hill. Hopefully my truck's able to pull this trailer up it. <laughs> That's like... But 
it's snow on the ground, you don't want to be driving down this one. Ice. Hopefully we get good money for these three pallets. We put a lot of lumber, that that wood, it, it might be cheap, uh, better pay just to sell the logs. Oh yeah, this is where we get a turn. Hopefully we can get across the river. What's that sign say? Road closed ahead. Dead end. How in the world are we supposed to get over there if we can't go through the river? I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'll get. Hopefully, I can get the mining stuff to work. Wait a minute. What? I thought we were going straight here. Well, that's great. building construct 
What? By building carpentry for 60. No. I don't want to buy it. There's got to be a cell point marker on here somewhere. Or am I going to have to... Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, here we go. What's this? Cell wood. Okay, so I've got to bring the wood back here to offload. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to buy ourselves a carpentry building. I don't want to have to be trying to drive this stuff back here every time. from there. Nope. Okay, we gotta offload. Hopefully we'll get some good money. Side on the side here. Oh, 
weg. I really do appreciate it. Remember to hit the smash that like button. Comment down below what you thought. And you have a great rest of your day. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos. So check out the playlists and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.